This is ProBricky and welcome to the ProBricky exclusive channel. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell. If you like the video, like it and share it. We're going to go into our next erectile dysfunction video and this is on some ex some exercises that might help when it comes to um, Johnson not playing his part and nothing worse than coming home you landed a lady or the wife's in the mood the girlfriend's in the mood and the juices are flowing and um, it's your turn to step up and Johnson's like a budgery gar in the bottom of the in the bottom of the cage he's had it he's got bird seed all over him <laughs> That's the editor laughing in the background. She's experienced this, I'd say, at some point. <laughs> not, not with me. Um, but erectile dysfunction occurs when a man cannot get or maintain an erection. Right? It's pretty straightforward. It's, a common, it's common in men of all ages. Muscles, especially those important in maintaining an erection, sometimes lose tone and strength. Um, and it, Yeah, and it's a little bit deeper than that. It's also got to do with the two chambers that fill the penis with blood but anyway as a result exercises can help to reverse erectile dysfunction so let's look at some causes and risk factors for ed which include number one guys obesity number two cardiovascular disease number three metabolic syndrome number four prostate cancer number five stroke Number six, low levels of physical activity. Now, physical activity should be the foundation um, of your life, really, because physical activity enhances all areas of your life. And then the two big ones, smoking and alcohol use. Now, doctors may prescribe um, phosphidia, I can't even say that, which is Viagra or other types of inhibitors for ED. But lifestyle changes, including exercise and weight loss, are also effective in treating this problem. Now, you can take the easy way out and get the Viagra or um, um, all that sort of stuff, but it ain't going to really, in the long term, get to the bottom of the problem. And um, Viagra and these other things do have side effects at some, if, you, you know, if you're dependent on them, um, and they'll undermine... To some extent, if not used in their proper context, the, th the steps that you need to take, like giving up smoking or stopping, to, stopping drinking um, and doing more exercise, um, Viagra is not an excuse in confronting those issues. Um, so exercise versus other treatments. Let's look at this, guys. Treating the cause of ED will have long-lasting results. While medication only provides temporary relief and can often cause other side effects. Also, we may find medication to be ineffective um, overall because sometimes erectile dysfunction is not a physical problem. It's a, an emotional problem. It can be related to stress, um, low self-esteem, um, a bad view of yourself and those types of things. And sometimes these factors are responsible for ED. And in these cases, a person, we can benefit from forms of, of talking therapy. But, you know, if you leave these too long, these things too long, it can often become harder to talk about. So the sooner you can talk about these things, the better. Um, don't just give in and buy a cat or a dog or a kangaroo or a wallaby or maybe even a ferret or something for a pet. Do something about the problem and get your spunk back and, you know, at least give yourself a go. Now, what type of exercises can help with ED? Um, exercises that strengthen the muscles of the, of the pelvic floor can benefit people with ED. Now, pelvic floor exercises, you can look that up on YouTube. Um, you can Google it. The pelvic floor muscles are key in sustaining blood flow to the penis and maintaining erections. Well, there's step number one, pelvic floor muscle exercises. And 
The muscles do this by putting pressure on the penal veins which I would say allows more blood flow into those veins. And the pressure prevents blood from leaving the area. So not only does it allow blood to get in, but it holds it in, making an erection possible. Pelvic floor exercises or Kegels are the most beneficial for ED. These exercises target the muscles at the bottom of the penis and particularly one called the far out. Yeah, this particular muscle is called the pubococcygeus, which I can't really pronounce, but it's the pubococcygeus. This loops from the pelvic bone to the tailbone and supports the pelvic organs. And when this muscle weakens, it is unable to prevent blood from flowing out of the erect penis. So performing pelvic floor exercises will strengthen and improve tone in, the, in this muscle and it can take four to six weeks before a person notices a difference in erections. All right, so Kegel pelvic floor exercises. Now, activating pelvic floor muscles. This exercise is simple, but it's important. It teaches a person to activate their pelvic floor muscles. So let's look at it. Lie down with the knees bent, the feet flat on the floor, this is on your back, and arms by your sides. Exhale and squeeze the pelvic floor muscles for a count of three. Um, could I ask the editor to do that? These no, no, the editor's busy typing. Um, and I don't have a record. Oh no, you don't have it. You're female. That's right. Yes. Inhale and release for a count of three. Then take time identifying the right group of muscles, those at the bottom of the pelvis, and it can be easily. <laughs> easy to accidentally contract other muscles instead, particularly those of the stomach, buttocks or legs. Sitting pelvic floor activation, guys. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do. Um, we've really got to get things going with these subscriptions. Sit with your arms at the sides and the feet flat on the floor, hip width apart. Using the same technique as above, activate the pelvic floor muscles for a count of three and release for a count of three. Ensure that the stomach, buttocks and leg muscles are not contracting. Standing pelvic floor activation. Okay, Stand straight with the arms by the sides and the feet hip width apart. Using the technique above, activate the pelvic floor muscles for a count of three and release for a count of three. Ensure that the stomach, buttocks and leg muscles are not contracting. Once a person is comfortable performing Kegel exercises three times a day, it can help to add exercises that involve more movement. Then you can do Pilates exercises. These Pilates exercises activate the right group of muscles and challenge a person to maintain pelvic floor strength while moving. Okay, knee fallouts. This is a beginner's exercise that involves small movements. Lie down with the knees bent, the feet flat on the floor and the arms by the sides. Keep the spine in a neutral position with a small space between the middle of the back and the floor. Exhale, squeeze the pelvic floor muscles and slowly lower one knee to the floor. Only lower it as far as possible while maintaining activation of the pelvic floor muscles. Keep the pelvis stable. Inhale, release the muscles and bend the knee again. Repeat on the other side. Start with four or five repetitions on each side and build up to ten. And I'm going to... Um, I might put a video up in the link for this as well. Number five, supine foot raises. This exercise builds on knee fallouts and involves small movements. Lie down on the, with the knees bent and the feet flat on the floor and arms by your sides. Um, exhale, engage the pelvic floor muscles and slowly raise one foot off the floor. Keep the pelvis and spine still. Inhale, lower the foot back to the ground and do alternate sides and then the pelvic curl this exercise is common in pilates 
Lie down with the knees bent, the feet flat on the floor and the arms by the sides. And just let me say, guys, um, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, um, subscribe, press the bell, like the video, and if you think it's any good, share it for us. If not, well, hopefully you'll get something out of it either way. Keep the spine in a neutral position with the, the small space between the middle of the back and the floor. Exhale, engage the pelvic floor muscles. Tilt the pelvis upward toward the belly button while pressing the back flat against the floor. Slowly lift the buttocks and push the heels into the floor and then squeeze the buttocks while lifting it and the lower and middle back. The body's weight should be resting on the shoulders. Take three breaths and squeeze the buttocks and pelvic floor muscles. Slowly lower the buttocks and back, the vertebrae, vertebrae to the floor and repeat three to four times initially and build up to 10 repetitions. Now things to remember when exercising, guys. At first, you may only be able to perform an exercise one, two or three times. Build strength bit by bit by practicing exercises daily. Eventually work up to 10 repetitions of each exercise per day and I'll put videos of demonstrations of these below. Build strength by practicing the exercises daily. Eventually work up to 10 repetitions of each exercise per day. If you stop doing the exercises, the muscles will weaken and your ED may return. Other types of exercises that can help are Aerobic exercise can also benefit you with ED. People who practice an aerobic exercise four times a week saw the best results according to the authors of a 2018 systematic review. Each exercise session should be a moderate or high intensity and last a minimum of 40 minutes. Some examples of aerobic exercises include cycling, spin classes, boxing, rowing, running, skipping. I'd also include walking in that for people that are just coming back into some kind of exercise routine. A person should keep up their aerobic exercise routine for at least six months. Exercise is essential for maintaining the health of the blood vessels and the heart. Also, people with cardiovascular disease have an increased risk of erectile dysfunction. The, the takeaway from this is, guys, if you've got ED, um, you will often see improvement after making lifestyle changes. And these should also reduce the need for medication and benefit overall health in the long term. It's just going to do you good all around, guys. Adjusting the diet and performing exercises, particularly those that target the pelvic floor muscles, can help you out with your ED. So there's some pro bricky stiff hacks, guys. Um, as I said earlier, if you haven't already, subscribe, press the bell, like the video and share it. I don't know, there could be somebody that you know that needs to hear this. I'm sure there is. But for now, this is pro bricky pro bricky stiff hacks. Till next time, bye for now.